Here's the main atrium. Gotta avoid segwaying yeah. Maybe you heard of it, maybe you haven't. Malls in USA are dying. In fact, it was expected that in 2022, a quarter of the malls will be closed in the US. That number was already reached in 2020. On TikTok, videos of dead malls were going viral, where people once had their childhood memories is now dead. But most likely not if you are from a European country. Why are malls in the US dying, but not in Europe? By the way, this does not mean that Europe is the only place where malls are not dying. And there is obviously a big difference between the 44 European countries. That's why in this video we will mainly focus on the Netherlands. Why aren't malls dying there? If you look at footages from the 80s, most malls in USA are packed, while many of them today are almost near empty, whereas in Europe the large majority of malls are still packed every day. Of course, there are still malls in USA that are packed today too, but we are just speaking about the ongoing trend of the dead malls in USA. Does it have to do with online shopping? Well, not really. I mean, yes, in the 80s and 90s, the malls were often the main meeting point for teenagers and online shopping was not really an option, but that doesn't explain why most malls in Europe are still packed. Online shopping in Europe is just as popular as in the States. Let's go back to the Netherlands. While many malls closed down in the US during the pandemic, the Netherlands opened a brand new large mall that was even packed during the pandemic. Yes, the mall is very new and looks very fancy and all, but there is one huge difference between malls in the United States and the Netherlands. Location. By the way, this is not going to be a not just bikes type of video. I mean, they have a great channel, you can check them out. Anyways, back to location. Most malls in the US are simply far away from the cities. Usually, the only way to get to the mall is by car, which is rather inconvenient. Let's take a look at the Mall of the Netherlands. As you can see, the mall is in a residential area, not far away from the city center. This means it's already accessible by foot. Less than a mile away, there is also a subway, which means the mall is accessible by public transport. If you want to come with your car, that's no problem either. There are enough car parks which are by the way free to park at. But we're not done yet. If you look closer, the mall is also accessible with bike lanes. I actually hopped on my bike and tested if this mall was close enough to go with your bike. And when I was biking, just take a look at the houses. The people who live here simply live on a walking distance to a mall. I mean, could you believe that in this quiet neighborhood, there is this giant mall behind those trees. In the United States, unless if there is a mall in the city center, it is very unthinkable that the mall is on a walkable distance to your house. You need a car, which discourages people to go to the mall when you can just shop online. I parked my bike in front of the mall and went in. These footages by the way were shot on a Monday when the Netherlands still had COVID protocols. I mean for a Monday during COVID, this is quite vibrant. Even though it does not look as busy, I mean it's still a Monday. Today the Netherlands has no COVID rules anymore, which means you don't have to wear a mask or social distance anymore. So I went again on a Monday to compare it and yes indeed, it was vibrant on a Monday, let alone what it looks like in a weekend. However, there is another reason why malls in Europe and Asia are not dying. The type of stores. In the United States, most stores you will find in the malls are based on clothing. With maybe some restaurant chains, maybe a cinema, but that's about it. Basically, there is nothing essential. In Europe, almost every mall has a supermarket. This is not common in the US at all, so even if they do not want to shop, they will still have to go to the supermarket because it is essential. And while they are there, anyways, they might do some shopping too. 
Malls in Asia take it even a step further. Food, entertainment, even services like salons, banks, government offices, churches, and even schools are in malls. It's not just shopping. Park once, do everything in one place, save time and efforts. Maintaining these malls that were mostly built in the 70s in the US, while it doesn't really get any visitors anymore, is just not worth it. As I said, there are still malls in the US that are vibrant. The reason? Good location. It's not that people are not willing to go to malls anymore, we are social creatures, and even in the future malls will still exist. But if you want to prevent them from becoming like this, then the US needs to rapidly change its strategies. Because right now, many malls in the US are just a bit too inconvenient.